Hello and welcome to today's video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your Vero character with tracking with VCFace. This is going to be sort of like a quick start guide for beginners. This is great if you watched my last video. If you haven't, go check it out. Now, if you have your character, let's get right into it. So once you have your character all said and done, uh, you might want to look into quickly expression editor before we export it uh sadly Vroid has this thing where it has a little bit of extreme expressions so you might want to fiddle with the expressions until you're happy so uh the ones you want to watch out for is the closed eyes ones you can either go to eyes or eyes femme and usually the slider is all the way down like this we want to open it up a little bit like that. We do the same with both eyes and the closed one. And if there's any expression that closes their eyes, like this. Go to eyes femme, like this. Slide it a little bit. And there we go. I also like to hide the teeth, but it's totally up to you. Now we're going to export the VRM like so. It's going to take a little bit of a while to load up. And once you have the character ready, uh, it's going to tell you how many polygons, materials and bones you have. Don't get too overwhelmed by this now, but essentially what the character's mesh or skin uh, is made up of is polygons and you have the materials is basically what the texture is what's painted on top and you have the bones which is like bones in real life uh just made digital and made it work uh, you can reduce these for different projects like uh brchf or depending on what your goal is uh, you might want to optimize your character but don't worry, you can always come back and re-export it with different settings and play with these. We're not going to mess with these too much right now. We're just going to hit export. Uh, VRM0 is the most supported format right now. So I'm going to use 0. And, and then you can just fill out all these things that you want. At least the title and who created it. Uh, which is you, hopefully. Uh, and then you can hit export and save it somewhere you remember. Okay, so to download VCFace, you simply go to vcface.icu. You can either tap download or you can scroll down and click download right here. And then once it's downloaded, you just run the program. Now, now that you have your character exported, or maybe you got a character from Vroid Hub. You can log in and upload it. Or you can add your character like this. Now, if it's, the, if it's the first time you open the program, it might look a little bit different, but that's okay. It's very intuitive. Just follow what it's asking you to fill out, like the camera settings and stuff like that. Like putting on the right microphone so you can have lip sync. Uh, these are the settings that I like to use. You can try different ones, but this is what's working for me. Uh, if you have a little bit of slower computer, you can choose a different setting here. Yeah, like 27p. Also, come like a recommending settings for your for your setup. If you click recommend the settings, once you're ready, you can click your character and start. Now. I'm, I get a little bit of an error here, and this is because I'm recording with OBS. So I'm just going to pause the recording and then open the program again. Give me one second. All right, we are back. So you get your camera set up. And if you don't have a, a webcam, you can also use your phone. But I'm not going to go over the settings for this in this video. But essentially, you go into settings and you enable iPhone tracking receiver. But yeah, so once you're in Vroid, uh, 
it should take a few seconds to calibrate and then you can start moving it. And there you have it. Now, let's take it a step further and do a little bit of a quick, quick course on getting you settled in VC phase. Now there's many programs out there, but I like VC phase because it works straight out of the box for the most part. And it also has a lot of cool settings you can use. It doesn't have sadly a hand support unless you get leap motion. But what I tend to do is I use another program called XR animator and make those programs work together. It's a little bit fiddly, but uh, it's a workaround. But if you're not too worried about that, then this is a great way to get you started. Make sure your camera has good lighting and you're not sitting too far away from the computer. If you notice that your character is all over the place, you can hit reset position like this and it calibrates or resets. Now there's also a handy help section that you can take a look at if you have any questions. If we take a look at, uh, we're not going to fiddle too much with effects or lights, but uh, the one we're going to look at is expression and general settings. Actually, before that, we can take a look at movement and movement range. What this slider does is it essentially makes you not look like a crackhead. Uh, so it's very jittery if I have it low, and if I take it a little bit higher, it looks a little bit smoother. Same with your blinking. One of the downsides with VC phase is the blinking, in my opinion. It also is a little bit of a cost of the v -Rod character, but that's something that can be fixed in other programs. But this works alright enough, uh, especially if you fill with the settings and you sit close enough to the camera. You can also enable something like auto blink if you want. Now with movement rage, I don't like it to be too bushy. <laughs> I don't know what the word is. So I leave it around here. Now when you go to these settings, uh, you can enable auto blink if you want. Um, also, I'm going to go out of this the, the screen so you can see what happens then. If you do this, your character kind of glitches a little bit but if you have reset posts on tracking walls it will reset your position um, i like to have lip sync so you can see my mouth moving when i talk uh, and i like to have link eye blinks and instead of auto blink i have just link glasses too um hybrid this means you can talk and have Mouth movements while also talking. Obviously, you want face tracking on, and I also like these two settings. Uh, the bottom one because Vroid usually has these extreme expressions. It's good to have. Um, you can have expression detection, but I find them kind of bad um, unless you spend a lot of time with these kind of settings which you can do and i do recommend checking them out essentially you um do an expression move around and then click uh and then click calibrate it's very intuitive i can show you a quick second Now it knows my neutral face in real life. Then with fun, I would have to make a fun face in real life, then click, and then show my face all around. Um, try to do it slowly, and then hit calibrate. We can also do this one, which is a simpler version of it. Uh, this is for quality, so pretty self-explanatory. Let's uh, settings. This is a real virtual camera. This is so you can set it up with, for instance, Discord. Um, I think there's some extra things you need to do, but essentially, um, you will have to enable virtual camera and then go into Discord. 
select VC face, and there you go. And you can talk with your friends as the avatar. Now, uh, let's disable that. If you have an iPhone, you don't have a webcam, you can get this one. Or use this one. Oh, use a program like uh, VTube Studio. I just glitched now. Okay. Then I bugged that now, so I need to restart VC Face. <laughs> okay, so the reason why that happens, and by the way, I decided to keep these uh, bugs in. So if anyone struggles with the same thing, they um, know how to fix it themselves or what's going on. Usually this restarting program helps, but when you do this, you send your data um it's meant to be another program that receives that information and yeah uh, don't worry too much about it now but for instance i use this also the receiver to receive information from another program like i do with my hands from xr animator uh, but again it's a little bit more advanced and it requires a little bit more firepower from your computer and a little bit more setup. I'm not gonna do it in this video because it's more of a beginner and overall view on VC face and setting up tracking. So then at the at last we have these kind of like extra settings, which I don't think you need to worry too much about unless you have some sort of problem with the program. So, um, for instance, I use increased process priority to make sure VC face, uh, to make sure VC face actually, um, is prioritized. Leap motion compatibility, like these are like very specific settings, so don't worry too much about them. Now on the left side, you can see the, the sliders. We can play with a lot of these and for instance, blink sensitivity, how easily it will catch your blinking uh, when looking down. Uh, I would just recommend playing with the settings and seeing what you like. So it might not be the same for everyone, but um, for instance, if you feel like your character or neck is very stiff, uh, you can turn it down, right? You can also make it more stiff if you want that. Same with like all these kind of settings. It's just up to what you prefer. But these are my settings. So, so yeah. You might blink differently than me, so these settings might look a little bit different, right? So that's pretty much it. Oh, and before I forget, um, I wanted to show just quickly, but not really strictly, how to now start streaming with your character. I'll probably make individual videos for this in the future that goes in more in depth. But again, this is more a quick start guide. Uh, so yeah, if you want to have your character streamed, what you can do is uh, you can press space in VC face and make sure to open VC face first because we're going to use the camera there. Um, sorry, you click on this little button, then you click space to remove it. Then we're going to go into OBS and we're going to add uh, inside OBS. This is the version I'm using 27.2.4. Uh, I have my scene and I'm going to add a source, I'm going to add game capture, as you can see the old ones I call VC face, call it whatever you want, I'm going to do capture specific window and then I'm going to choose VC face, make sure transparency is enabled, that way we can choose our own background if you want. Um, don't worry about too much in these settings. Let's just hit OK. 
Now, I'm gonna rename this so it's easier for you guys. See? There we go. Um, so, now I have my, let's say you want to react to things, right? Um, uh, you probably want your display, uh, at the bottom and then VC face above that. You can just drag it like this as you want. And then, and then you could probably add, you know, like an image if you want the kit one I have here the way you do that is just add a source add an image you find your image and you make sure it's under your character let's make myself a little bit bigger and there you have it and then you just set up your stream key whatever you stream YouTube Twitch and you click start stream you know set up your you know, audio or whatever set up your game and there you have it again this is not meant as like a super in-depth when all these things this is more like going through everything kind of like a quick start beginner tutorial you need to get started and get your character uh, moving and in your favorite programs so Hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more. And let me know what you think in the comments. And until next time.